Hello and welcome to this data analysis tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to be looking at web scraping online data sets the easy way. So we'll be using Python, Wikipedia and Google Colab. So we'll be using Python through our Google Colab online IDE to automatically scrape our web data for a usable data set and we're going to convert and save this to a CSV file all with the power of Python. We'll use Wikipedia to get those HTML tables and this allows us to use a simpler Python package known as pandas and not depend on the more complex beautiful soup where we need to open up our developer tools and look for more specific areas and more complex installs. Google Colab is a product from Google and it allows anybody to write and execute Python code through the browser. It saves us going through the hassle and rigmarole of installing IDEs and text editor and it's really well suited to data analytics and machine learning. So we're going to be pulling the data from just a Wikipedia article I found in soccer or football and You'll notice as we scroll through the article, suddenly we're presented with lots of tables, but they don't necessarily look very structured. So I'm going to display how easy it is to scrape these tables, access them and save them to a CSV file. By no means that's the data you may be using in the end, but it's a good example. And also we're going to access Google Collaboratory, Google Colab for short, through the browser. And we just have to initiate this by loading up Google or whichever search engine you use. And when we go to create a new notebook online, we'll be presented with the option to sign in. Just like that, once we've created a new notebook, we'll sign in through a Google account. We're ready to write Python code, execute it, and look at how we can easily scrape web data sets. So whether you have or haven't used Python before, I'm going to attempt to explain this in the same level of depth for everyone to get, get an understanding. The first thing we need to do is import pandas and pandas is a fast and powerful, flexible, open source data manipulation and analysis tool built on top of the Python language. So we just need to import it into our project and we import pandas as PD. And then now what I'm doing, I'm creating an object or a variable called scraper that we're going to use to call. And we've seen variables before in my DAX videos. And we need to assign this to pd.read underscore HTML. And we simply take the HTTPS URL, the URL from Wikipedia for our page. And when I type in scraper, which is the same as calling print and scraper, the print function and scraper, we show everything that our web scraper is already pulling with three lines of code, which is quite amazing. But the issue is we need to get some sort of structure here. So how do we do that? Well, there's a very simple method that I'll go through here below. So what we need to do is assign an index to our tables and we also want to have some sort of text or symbols that separates the tables. So what we can do is use this for I an index table and we want to enumerate through the scraper and we can print these lines to separate the tables. We can also print I, which is just the index or the counter and each table. So if you look now, we've assigned some lines and you can see, I see the lines in zero and one, two, three, four, five, whatever that may be. But every table underneath the lines, the separators has an index. So you'll notice if I was to just type in scraper and the index zero, I would print the first table. I also want to comment out this block of code because it's not going to work properly if I have that there. So to multi-line and multi-comment out lines of code in Python, you just need to press command and question mark on a Mac, and I believe it would be control and question mark on a Windows machine. And now you see if I comment that out and type print scraper in that index zero, I get this lovely table. So that's how easy it's been with just a few lines of simple code to scrape data and get the relevant table and index that we want. So that's fantastic. But 
now what if I want to <coughs> assign this and save it to a CSV file? So I've assigned the scraper zero, our index, that first table, to DF for data frame. It's a Python data frame. And now I'm going to create a function, an object that saves that data frame to CSV. And I'm just going to give it a name. So premier underscore league, that's the data set dot CSV and just a standard index is equal to false. Lastly, I can check that our whole process has worked. I can create a, a variable, the df underscore scrape file, which is just our, our scrape data frame. And I'm referencing that CSV that I've saved in the line above just to check that everything works. And when I call that, I print that variable, df underscore scraped underscore file, I get the nice table. So our whole process has worked and I've been able to read through the Power Python call that CSV, and I've managed to do all of this, scrape a specific table within a few lines of code. So this is a great way if you're thinking about requiring more data sets, scraping more data sets, a great way to do it. And I actually have a previous video on doing this for Power BI and SQL data. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you.